Coach Mark. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone. And uh, if you'll please remain uh, on this Zoom uh, for offensive players, uh, Kendall Milton and Warren Erickson. And then the defensive Zoom will be uh, Trayvon Walker and Nicobe Dean. Okay, guys, we will start the offensive portion of the Zoom. Reminder on the defensive, we have Trayvon Walker and Nicobe Dean, just like Claude uh, mentioned. First up will be Kendall Milton. And let's start with Mark Weiser and then Chip Towers. Mark. Kendall, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Coach was saying, Kirby was saying that uh, I guess the offensive line was kind of challenged right after the Vandy game last week to, you know, make this game about kind of enforcing their will, that kind of thing. I mean, how, how jacked up were you to kind of follow the game plan where you guys were featured? Oh, I was, I was very excited. You know, all through practice the whole season, we know how talented our O-line is. We know how much they have that dog mentality. So I was just ready to, you know, get behind them and get rolling. And, you know, I felt like they had a very good game. They dominated the line of scrimmage, and I'm happy for them. Chip Towers, is Chip on this Zoom? Uh, hey, uh, Aylin, uh, he's not on here, but I'm helping him out. Uh, so okay, Brandon. Uh, Kendall, I mean, so, like, as a running back, and kind of the struggles y'all, uh, I guess, sh sh struggles in air quotes here, but the struggles y'all had to open the, the year. I mean, when Arkansas lines up in a front like that, gives y'all the opportunity. I mean, your eyes kind of light up as a running back at the opportunity that uh, that uh, you all might have. Oh, 100%. You know, it seemed like this. Um, I would say it's pretty well known that we're good at running the ball. So just seeing a front like that, having the room that we have with Kenny, Zamir, James, uh, Bajon, Savon, everybody just, you know, with the line that they provided us and the O-line that we have, it's just, you know, it's as great as a running back to see a, to see a front like that to run against. All right, let's next go to Jake Rowe and then Seth Emerson. Jake. Hey, Kobe. Another shout out to you guys today. You have one uh, Kendall, sorry if I'm, you know, I – Got tuned in here a little late, but uh, first touchdown of your career. Uh, did it, had you gotten impatient? Had you gotten to the point where you were like, "Hey, is this going to happen?" Or, or uh, you know, how exciting was it for you? Uh, I wouldn't say I got impatient. It was kind of one of those just trust the process type of things. And um, like I said, I, our O line they're very talented. They're you know had that dog mentality. So when it got time to the goal line, um, Coach McGee told me get in there. And that's all I had on my mind. So it was a great it was a great opportunity. Um, you know, it's something that uh, I would say I've been, you know, trying to trying to accomplish, been waiting on, and I'm happy that, you know, it happened in a game like this. Um, Kendall, I'm, I'm sorry to uh, inform you that your touchdown is being overshadowed by Jalen's block. He, uh, <laughs> oh, he blocked three people. Three people. Uh, what was your vantage point on that play and did in the timeout before it, did you talk to him or anybody about it? Yeah, well, actually, in the huddle, I told Jalen, like, let's go. You know, obviously, uh, his stature, how big he is, he's a solid person. Um, I would hate to be the person um, having to take on that block. So I basically knew. I, I told him in the huddle, I was like, I was like, let's go. Like, let's get this. And he did more than his job and made that lane open. And, uh, you know, just blessed to, have to be in that situation to have the people that I have up front for me. All right, next up, let's go to Mike Griffith and then Anthony Dasher. Mike? Uh, yeah, Kendall, um, Coach Smart talked about the confidence everybody has in Stetson. I guess you knew during the week he was going to start. Can you just talk about the, the presence the presence that, that Stetson has and the confidence he gives you guys in him? A hundred percent. You know, um, all throughout practice, I'll say all through camp and everything, we see Stetson every day. We see him go through practice. We see him go through drills, go through the team periods. And, you know, what he, what he did on the field, that's something that we already knew. Um, we were very confident going into this game because we knew that Stetson's a person that, that's going to step up. He's going to live up to the opportunity. He's going to do more than, you know, what people expect of him. And, um, you know, he's a great person. He's a great teammate to have because no matter the situation, no matter what position he's in, he's always going to be that team player and still going to be encouraging people and making people better. So, you know, we, we knew Stetson was going to live up and, you know, just happy to see him ball at the end of the day. Anthony Dasher. 
Yep, hey, Kendall, good to see you. Uh, I know you guys, uh, you know, knew going into this game that you were going to get some different defensive looks from Arkansas. How much extra confidence did that give you in the running game, the offensive line, knowing y'all were be able to, were going to be able to get something done today with that? A hundred percent. It gave us um, a lot of confidence, especially just going against our D line every day in practice. You know what they did these past few weeks. It speaks for itself. There's, it's probably the hardest D line to run against. We see that every day, different fronts. You know, the defense, different coverages. So it just gives us um, a lot of confidence going into the game because, you know, I feel like I feel like I, ba- I face the best defensive line in the country every day. So, you know, it just makes me excited for the game time to just go out there and, you know, run against somebody else. All right, next up, let's go to Connor Riley and uh, Palmer after that. Connor? Hey, Kendall, what kind of impact did the crowd sort of have on you guys today and enabling you guys to get off to that fast start? Oh, the crowd was amazing. They were electric. I remember, I think it was the first quarter, um, the defense was on the field and me and a few teammates were on the sideline and we just looked at each other and we was like, man, like it's loud. And you know that the crowd stayed in the game the whole time. And I would say the crowd had a very big impact in this game, you know, made it hard for them to hear snap counts and everything like that. Because when the crowd's just at that, that, that peak, that peak sound, you know, it's hard to really focus on the field. So you know, the, the crowd came out, and especially for a noon game, you know, it's amazing just how, how great of a fan base we have, how dedicated the fans are, and it just makes us better on the field. Kendall, with all the conversation the last couple of weeks about the run game, how important was it for y'all to have a game like this and to build some confidence going forward? Oh, no, it was great for us, but I wouldn't say it built confidence because at the end of the day, we're an offense that we have weapons at every position, and the weapons are deep in every position. So, you know, some games going to be the passing game. Some games going to be the run game. Some games going to be both. So, you know, when we go out there, we just um, – just everybody do their job and um, the outcome will, you know, show itself. All right, next let's go to um, Chris and then let's go to Charles Odom who just joined us. Chris, get your hand up. Chris, are you with us? All right, Charles Odom, you have a question? All right, if Charles is not there, let's just open it up for two more questions. Anybody have a question? I got one. Okay. I got one hey, for Kendall. you real quick. Oh. I'm sorry, go ahead. Hey, Kendall, for the second straight week, uh, you know, the offense and special teams has jumped out to this big first quarter lead. Uh, I mean, what's that like? given that you play with such an elite defense uh, that's only given up 16 points this season? No, it's, it's great. Definitely just seeing how um, every team, the offense, defense, special teams, we all just um, we all just compliment each other and we get on the field because offense goes out there, does their job. Defense goes out there, does their job. Special teams does their job. And uh, one thing that Coach Smart uh, has emphasized ever since I got to Georgia was uh, special teams. He emphasized that special teams was probably the most important team on the um, on the football team. So it's something we've been working at. And I feel like uh, how hard our practices are, how physical, um, how how much we you know have competitive nature within our team. It just makes us better for the game in all in all three areas. All right, we have time for one more question for Kendall. If anyone has one. Yeah, Kendall, I wanted to ask about just uh, the wear down effect. Could you could you see it in Arkansas's eyes that, that they were getting defeated by that physical front and the pounding you guys were putting on them? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely hard to um, play a team like we are. We're a very physical team. So um, we, we kind of emphasize just that, just just keep pounding, just keep pounding, keep chopping. And, you know, eventually teams are it's, it's hard to take that the whole game. So I feel like our preparation, what we've done in practice, just the, the things that our coaches have emphasized, it just made our job out there to go on the field and just have fun at the end of the day. OK, 